Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. This time we would like to show you a way how to create a hollow object with the Voronoi fracture. There are actually two ways, so I'm showing you one by one. The first one requires a cloth surface. And the second one requires two objects. So let's start with the first one. I create a Voronoi fracture, make this one a child of the Voronoi fracture, and to see what's going on inside, we also change the offset fragments. Right now, it's like expected, pieces that go deep inside of the object. So if I click on hollow only, we just get the surface here, which actually has no thickness. And that's where we need the cloth surface. Drag and drop the Voronoi fracture into the cloth surface and then, for example, change the subdivision to zero and change the thickness. You can go in both directions. This way it gets bigger on the outside. If you use negative values, you can see it goes inside. So this is one way to have an object like an egg shell. The second version requires two objects, as I told you. There's one egg inside the other here. So the advantage of this version is that you can create a variable thickness of the wall. So if I place this second egg higher, you can see that we actually have a very thin wall at the top and a very thick wall here at the bottom. What you need to do before you use this in the Voronoi fracture is that the smaller object that's inside the bigger object needs to have the normals facing to the inside. That's very important. So the egg big here has the normals facing outside and the smaller egg has the normals facing inside. If you have this object, just do a right click and click on reverse normals and you're done actually. So now we use these both objects with this command connect objects and delete and then we create another Voronoi fracture. Drag it into the Voronoi fracture and here we again change the offset fragments to see what's going on. And in this case we need to click on hollow object, not hull only. And you can see it's already working. We have, like expected, a thin wall at the top and a thicker wall at the bottom. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.